welcome to today's video. Today's Tuesday, and we are back at it. Chore day. It's chore day for us. You ready to do chores? No. No, Gabby's already in here. We are out of cat food. I need to go today and get cat food. Poor little kitty. Anyway, good morning, guys. Welcome to today. I have a burning question. I'm going to ask you guys right now. It's burning. It's a huge question. This is it. Are you ready? Get ready. It's important. Oh. Okay, woo. The question is, where is Brian Laundry? If you guys don't know who Brian Laundry is, then you have not been following the biggest case. Laundry? His last name's Laundry. Where do you think he is, Gabby? Do you think he's in his Gabby thinks he's in his family's garden? Sophie, where's Brian Laundry? Um, you saw it? I told her to look inside her mind and see if she could see it. Where is he, Gabby? Huh? Where is Brian Laundry? Laundry. No, it's not. What is it? I don't know. But it can't be laundry because that's just weird? It can't be laundry because nobody names their... Family laundry? I, do you even name your family? No, so that's why I'm... No, like the first people in your family. Yeah. They, do they name So them? back then when people got named, they all often got named like for the jobs they did. Like Gabby Ryder, like Gabby Horseback Rider, or Gabby... In the Sil olden days I would not be allowed to well, you would if you were a nobility and if you rode side saddle. I would fall off. No, you would learn. They would, you would I learn. I would fall off right away. All right, so they would be like Bill Smith, as in Bill, Bill Blacksmith. Or there would be like Gabby Hill, because you live on the hill. Or Gabby Meadow, because you live in the meadow. Maybe once upon a time his family was, did the laundry. I don't know. But anyways, that was probably, I probably butchered that lesson. But anyway, um, where is he? Where is he? You know, a surfaced that makes it seem like he could be underneath their garden. And there could be a secret room underneath their garden. But you'd think there'd be an easier way to access it besides through the dirt. If you guys didn't see that video, you should look it up. I don't know if I'm allowed to share it, but yeah, it's interesting, you guys. Like, the whole case is interesting. My theory is this. If a 22-year-old boy was going to disappear, and he had time to plan it and execute it, Gabby said, Sophie says he'd be cute. He is very well-spoken and really cute, but he's a murderer, so that that cuts all that out. I thought I saw a photo. He's not. You don't think he's cute? No. I thought I saw a photo. He's bald. If you don't like bald guys. No, I don't. He's bald? Yeah. Then yes, that's what I saw of him. And you don't think he's cute? No. Anyways, I think that he has been well orchestrated. I don't think he's in the woods someplace. Or I don't think he's in like the forest or the wetlands or whatever the heck it is that he's in. Whatever you guys call it. Like in the, in the marsh and stuff. I, oh my god, you guys. You missed it. You missed it. Daisy? They, they say them. Okay, change the subject. <laughs> Daisy, Daisy loves horses. Like she actually likes them, and she you just know went. Who he kind of looks like? Who? You know the guy from American Murder or something? Oh, that's interesting. Based on the true story, where he like um, he was cheating on his wife. He had two children. He was cheating on her with a different girl. He's like, ah, I I'm not gonna be able to break up with her because I have two children. So he killed the mother. And then killed the two children, chopped the children up, put them in oil tanks where he was working, yeah. buried the mother somewhere. That's the guy. That's the guy yeah. Looks like. Yeah, I saw that story. I watched it. Yeah. That's what he looks like. Okay, so anyways, we were just standing here, and Daisy walked up to Willow, and they went nose to nose for a long time, and then Daisy said, hey, do you want to play? And Willow said, okay, I'll play. And then Daisy said, I'm getting the heck out of here. Anyway, that's all I got to say today <laughs> about Mom, murderers. Yeah, like if yeah. you're going to kill feel... somebody, do it properly. How'd she die? Strangled? I don't know. Nobody knows, but that's my guess. It's probably not often enough, but I clean my brush. Ow! I clean my brushes every season, and today is the day, you guys. It's time. I still love my little grooming bag. Hey, Sam. Guess what happened today in homeschool? She's what? videoing. She's yeah, I'm bragging. videoing. I'm bragging. So guess what, what happened? I'm bragging. The girls are saying I'm bragging. Guess what happened in homeschool today? I don't know. I helped Gabby do a whole unit. 
in math. I did. Sam's like, oh, it's been really easy. You hear what he says? Like, usually he's been handling the math program, and I helped her today do a whole unit, and his excuse was, oh, it was really easy today. Did you learn anything? Yes, we learned how to do it. I just wanted to tell you that I'm better than I look. I'm not just a pretty face. It's true. School work is hard. It is like literally the middle of the day still. And uh, we're getting ready to go take horses off. And we had to finish, finish work, finish school. Like school is hard. It is hard. I value these days that we're home teaching our kids though and helping them learn and giving them a positive environment to learn in so that they don't have to navigate all the social stress that happens sometimes in school and they're able to concentrate and focus on their studies and learn and then go out there and deal with all the social stuff after they've done the important stuff. But anyway, whew, I'm getting better at math. All right, so oh, there's- yeah, she does have longer legs. Yeah, we just, we feel like, Sophie's shorter than Gabby, stand together. But we think she has longer legs because she can fit the tractor wheels. Stand up, side by side. We're on hills. Turn around. I don't know, Gabby, you look really similar in length. Yeah, I think you do have longer legs, but she's almost the same height as you. How does that work? All the way back. Yeah, her feet don't even fit the ground. Hit the ground. The other day we did a photo shoot. I'm tripping over everything. And everyone. Sam literally put stuff in the barn. And then everybody trips. So uh, the other day we did a photo shoot on Thanksgiving with our family and today we're gonna do a photo shoot with our mares. But before we do, I'm gonna issue a challenge to my girls. You ready for it? Ready for the challenge? You ready for the challenge? Come here. You ready for the challenge? Yeah. Why are you laughing? I dodged it off. <laughs> you got my way. All right, come here. I'm going to tell you the challenge. Well, it gets. No. Do you think your horse would ground tie? Because we did all that work with him in the winter. Do you think your horse would ground tie? Oh, Gracie? No. Do you think your horse would ground tie? Yeah. Okay, I think my horse would ground tie too. So we're going to do a challenge. We're going to all try and ground tie our horse and see if any of them listen. Okay? I still trying to kick her. <laughs> Gracie is the girl of the hour. Gracie, are you gonna lead tie? Lead tie, lead? Ground, ground, ground tie. tie? Are you gonna ground tie, Gracie? Look how big her head looks. I mean, she's already coming in. All right. Gabby, stop kicking. Oh my gosh, what the heck got into these kids? All right, let's try it. We're gonna try it. I got no treats. I got no treats, Pen. Horse number one is ground tied to pick up her feet i feel like we could pick our feet i feel like we could do anything with our horses i think they're completely good at this because we worked on it all winter okay she's a good ground tied you think you guys think she passes pass pass when i have to help someone with some something and I have Willow. Yeah. Uh, I'm just like, stay here. Yeah. Stay. I feel like we've done some good stuff with our horses, you guys. Okay, contestant number two, can you ground tie? Okay. You got a rock. And then you have to walk away. Oh. No. <laughs> okay, wait, I'll walk. All right, I moved away. Keep in mind, we haven't done this for a while. Her pony is a brat, and I know it's not her fault. You said your horse does not ground tie? Right, whoever said Gracie doesn't ground tie, you could be correct. Okay, now stand beside her for a second. Now walk away. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, oh, oh careful of that rope. Make She's sure just that. standing Sophie's, there. Sophie's horse is ground tied for life. Okay, here I'm going to get ready and uh, drop my rope. Okay. To the ground.
My dad's making a noise. And Willow's still ground dying. ground tide too and look at there's a lot going on I don't know if this is normal if we're supposed to be like dogs running around and stuff but our horses are all oh except for that one I think that one needs the most work this one is the best this one's the second best <laughs> this one is not the best no anyways the next thing I really want to do with Penny is I want to work on tying her like making her be patient so i'm going to pot tie her to the trailer and see how she does i've never really tied my horse to the trailer ever and i want to see how she does with willow friends or without friends like willow literally is the best ground tie horse ever and and even my horse mine's better <laughs> she's like i'll just pick it up and walk by myself <laughs> she's like oh not again i'm glued I'm glued, I'm stuck, but look at that one. Like, that one is so good. Yeah, I have not picked up her leaf yet. No, it's been this whole time, and she's just still standing. Oh, you're gonna throw a ball at her. <laughs> Willa looks chubby. Yeah, she is. Time. But it hit her back. She did not move. Yeah, like, don't hit my horses with balls. Of course, the day that I planned our photo shoot for the mares, I washed all my brushes, and they're all at the house. They're on the ground outside, drying in the sun, but I... Have done my best. Done my best. Are you your best? She's like, I do not know why I'm here. <laughs> and I just finished her mane and tail. Oh, her mane looks gorgeous. And I can smell her. She smells good. Sophie really puts it on. She does such a good job. Oh, do you like that? I do such a good job if I have my equipment, but it's missing. All right, so I'm going to do something else new today. I'm going to try it tying Penny to the trailer. I've never done it before. I don't not know how she'll react. I don't know if she, I mean, obviously she's done it for days on end before, but I don't know if it's like one of the things that's a gap in her learning or if she still remembers it and is good at it. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to tie, I'm going to go tie her right now. All right. So this pony does not tie very well. So this is where we're going to practice. All right. Gracie's getting food. This is going to mess up Penny. All right, here she is. She can't reach the grass. She's not happy about it. She's like, Laura, this is not fair. But one thing you guys don't know, yeah, is that Sophie is a budding Ellen photographer. The... All right, so we're fighting. You know, when you go to a show, you don't leave your horse just like that. Okay, so it, you guys answer the truth here. If you're training your horse to stand and show respect by just standing and behaving, do you give them a hay bag? Do you like make them do this? Is it inhumane to make her learn to stand, to learn patience? She should not, she should be showing respect by not trying to eat the grass too. So answer that. Should, is it okay to train your horse to stand without a hay, hay bag? bag? Hay bag. All right, I'm gonna see. What do you think, Sophie? I'll help you. What do you think? Is it okay to teach your horse That's to stand? Kind of cute. Oh, here, I'll help you. I want some, like, looking up at them in photos, too, because I like that. Okay, hold on. Gabby, is it okay to train your horse to stand quietly without eating? To teach patience? Eh. You don't think so? I never said that. You think so? I never said that either. You're afraid to be wrong? No. Oh, be brave, you guys. Say what you think. There's little cheater girl over there. This is how Gabby tied her horse with a big old hay bag. I don't know if I'm right, so you guys have to tell us. And there's my horse, <laughs> still trying to get the grass. I don't know if I'm supposed to ignore that or what. All right, so we just finished Willow's photo shoot. I don't know how good the no, photos. No, sometimes you. Okay, that's a good idea. So I like wanted to do something super fancy, like. But the lighting is the lighting is really bad over here right at this time of the day. Okay, hold uh oh, on. look at Gabby brushed her hair. <gasps> oh no! The heck happened?
happened? She's like, I will just eat these leaves. Gabby, you did not do a good job. Oh, she's over there with my camera, taking pictures of her puppy. We're gonna do the puppies okay, after too. Her. Okay, so it's Penny's turn over in the scary pumpkin area. <laughs> she's eating everything. Penny did really good tied to the trailer. She doesn't care, could take her to a show and she, well, she'd probably be nervous about the show. Penny, Penny's trained. It's just that she is reactive when she's scared and she's not scared being tied to the trailer at her house. Well, lots more learning to do. We're uh, taking pictures. I'm gonna show you guys some of the pictures that we took. They're not that good because when I started trying to take pictures of Penny, she didn't understand what I wanted. And she thought like, why are we standing here at the grass if I can't eat the grass? So they didn't turn out awesome. And most of them Sophie took because she's really wanting to perfect her photography skills. So I'm gonna show you guys that. They're taking pictures of the puppies right now. It's Molly. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, and I got a photo of these Aww, two. Oh, let's put them all three on the hay bale. Oh, they don't go on the hay bale. My dog's she's chasing, chasing a butterfly. It's the cutest thing. We'll look out in the field and she's just jumping and hopping and then all of a sudden she'll lose the butterfly. And look then, at that's a good picture of her right there. Oh, and here's a photo of Daisy. Oh, it's so cute. All right, we'll show you guys pictures of, we'll show you guys pictures of the dogs too. You know that we love the hay wagon when just as a family alone here, we all climb on. Like, this is our thing, man. Ruby, this is on. our thing. Don't you know